So it's just a little bit archaic, no, very large bit archaic to have this idea where you submit your paper, it goes to you know one, two, three, whatever number of referees. It, that process, even sending it out to referees and getting the comments back can take months. Then you respond, it goes back out, that can take months. So after six, nine, maybe eight months, a year, that's when your paper gets published. In you know, day when age when we've got social media, we've got practically instantaneous communication. It's just incredibly outdated to do it that way. Moreover, doing it that way, you're assuming that the most expert opinion is going to be via those three referees, when in fact, um, the key thing is to try and open it out to as wide an audience as possible, to poll as much opinion as possible. So that's why I'm a huge fan of what's called post-publication peer review, putting papers online and getting the, the wider community to discuss them. It's a much better way of doing things. Fear is certainly one thing. The, the journals in the top tier, and we all know, scientists certainly know all which those journals are. Um, the problem is, is that getting a paper in one of those journals is now effectively, you know, that's the pathway to an academic career. If you've got a paper in one of those journals or more than one paper in those journals, it makes a huge difference to your career prospects. So the brand name of the journal and the, um, the overall dominance of those journals is really affecting all of science. And so the possibility of moving away from that is really, uh, is, is really to try and convince the scientific community to stop basing their judgments of the science on the brand names. And that's very difficult to do because I'm in a position where I've got a group of postdoctoral researchers and, and PhD students, and they need to find careers. And to find careers with the system currently set up, they need to publish in those journals. And so for, therefore, I'm slagging them off, but at the same time, I'm being rather hypocritical because I have to, I have to submit our stuff to those journals. It might get published there, but we have to at least aim for those journals. And so that's something I struggle with a lot, and that's a major impediment in terms of how do we get rid of that stranglehold. And you know, there are uh, Nobel laureates who've said that they're gonna bo boycott those journals. That's great, and that's laudable. The problem is for the rest of us, lesser mortals, that's a difficult thing to do.